Welcome to Professor's Cards uh, Wednesday Pack Break. I know this is a little last minute um, video uh, stream that we decided to do. Originally broadcast for the regular 5.30. Uh, but if I'm going to be honest, uh, I actually haven't had any of the customer base that I was expecting um, because the demand is so high. And our prices are reasonable, reasonable right now. So uh, going back to the drawing board, we'll probably end up offering a uh, free shipping for the first 100 orders that uh, jump in, um, and as long as it's in the US. Uh, so if you are interested in buying some packs at a nice deal, we'll have that going for a limited time, probably to the end of the month. So without further ado, just going to want to kind of break in some of the stuff. I decided that I'm just going to do an opening Wednesday. Um, some of the things that we are going to have today are draggable blocks. Ooh, I'm excited. If we get more viewers while the stream is going, I'll probably end up opening up a uh, Crobat box as well. Uh, these are two of my own that I caught just because I thought the art was nice. And I think it's about time to open them up. And I've got about five packs to open up. And if anybody jumps in mid-channel, um, just for you guys, we'll probably give out two free Steam Siege uh, packs. But you've got to say something. Uh, in the chat window um, and then also a mini tin got two more left to uh, after that one to open up for the whole set so I want to kick things off um, with a little sword and shield first um, and hopefully you have hopefully everybody out there is having a great day uh, if you're just joining us uh, for the first time thank you so much the liking, subscribing, all of that helps so so much whenever distributors are considering how much product to send out. Um, we've got a full business going here, legally operated, uh, legally licensed to operate in the state of Washington. I'm really hoping to get more things to you at a cheaper price so you're not having to deal with the uh, scalper price that is being out there on the market. Let's start off with the Sword and Shield with the wonderful Snorlax art on the pack. It's definitely a card I would like to get. Let us know what uh, what you're liking out of that uh, Sword and Shield set. I know it's getting harder and harder to find now with a lot of cards. Um, but this is definitely one that I would like to get that Snorlax. There's a code card for you uh, if you are into the TCGO game. 2, 3, and 4. And if you like uh, leonhart has got a really cool channel. Also follow a lot of good things going on. He's trying to get vintage Pokemon to people. He's got the patented Guess the Energy game, which is always fun to play. So I like to do it as well. And we're going to start off with Electric. And it is fire. Can these decks be fire today? Let us hope so. Baby Raboot. Rare Candy. Roselia. Ferroseed. Krabby. That's a cool looking Krabby. I really like that one every time I open it. Glaren Zigzazoon, Gossifleur, another Pharaoh Seed, but not a Reverse Hollow, and a Chinchino. So interesting there. I always forget if Sword and Shield is one of those ones that doesn't have Reverse Hollows, or if just sometimes I get those weird packs that they don't. So um, nothing crazy out of that one, but again, if you were to uh, get these packs, I would sleeve these all up for you, because every rare is a rare. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start, we'll start with the easy, uh, pack breaks there. Don't want to see, uh, um, anybody, uh, pop in and later on and be like, oh, where was the Dragapult box? I was hoping to catch it because that was a very last minute post. Uh, I know that that's basically what happened, but, you know, beautiful, um, beautiful tin here. Uh... And then we got a Zarude card. I don't, I don't even say if I if I said that right or if it's Zarude. But Shining Fates is a really exciting set. Uh, nice Mewtwo coin, which is pretty cool. I'm still trying to get used to those newer Pokemon. So obviously at 893 is well past the 151 that I learned. And then whatever Pokemon Go released. Because um, that's about my only exposure to the newer stuff. But without further ado, we've got some fun cards we're going to break tonight. Hopefully when you watch this later on, if you do decide to, uh, you enjoy what we're pulling. Um, there is a Shining Fates uh, code card for you. 
one, two, three, four. And we've got to guess the energy at least once, at least once. So psychic, and it is a metal energy. Tropius, awesome card. I like that one. Rotom, that's also one of my favorite arts out of this set, to be honest. Cremorant, Morpico, Coughing, Gossifler, Rowlet, Qfont, a Reverse Hollow Zerude from the uh, tins. So that's kind of cool. And a Bossa's Orders Regular Rare. So like I said, any of the uh, Reverse Holographics will be sleeved up to you. Um, that way they're taken good care of, especially if you're trying to get that master set. You know, it's a lot challenging with uh, the availability of everything right now. And I think if we get enough uh, interest that I'll probably put up the limited Shining Fates that I was able to get. Right now it isn't very, very hard to get anything um, as a new company. But like I said, the more likes you get, the more followers you get, the more stuff we can get, and the more we can get to you at a reasonable price. Uh, I'm going to go with a Leaf Energy on this one. Water. So we're getting a different one each time. Rusted Sword. Floatzel. Dartrix. I like the art on that one. Gossifleur. Cacnea. Qfont. Oh, cute Qfont, right? you got to say that each time. Maybe have those little fun things you got to say. Bazile. So I think we had a, a full evolution right there. Spinark. Ooh, cool. Reverse Hollow Luxio. And a Volcanion regular uh, rare, so nothing crazy out of the tin, um, but pretty cool card. I like that art. So two reverse holographic rares, and we'll have that huge pack pool to go through with the Dragapult boxes. Um, we'll start off with uh, in the middle here with some battle styles in the comments below. Uh, but as you're watching the video, I think it'd be kind of funny if you think it's going to be a left pack versus a right pack, which gets the better pulls. I'm uh, interested to, say, to see what you've got. So give me votes for left. Give me votes for right. Uh, and we will start off with this right, just in, in case the cameras have flipped the mirrors. Um, the Empoleon. And what is we're going to have? Oh, they don't match on the outside. you got the rapid strike and the uh, single strike. We will open up that Empoleon because it's more fun last. We'll open that last. So we're coming back to left. And if you're just watching, thanks for joining us. Again, act, like the channel, subscribe, head over to the shop, get in on some of this action too. We are trying to sell at a reasonable cost to you. Definitely no price gouging here. Um, and... Like I said, what we'll do is a limited run of the first 100 orders are going to get free shipping. It's hard to beat. So uh, let's go ahead and flip this over. We're going to go with fighting. Oh, metal energy. I wanted to say metal. Tower of Darkness. Karina's Focus. Karkle. Pretty cool looking one out of that set. I like it. Still don't know how to say that one if it's Mean Foo or Mind Foo. Yamper. Be definitely a corgi, Glamgo, Gl uh, wait, Glamow, Gl Glamiao, <laughs> Corfish, Scatterbug. Hopefully, I'm making people laugh whenever you watch these back. Um, we got a Galarian Mister Mime Reverse Holographic Rare, so that's pretty cool, and an Electrovire Regular Rare. Pretty cool out of this set. I really do enjoy the Reverse Holographics. Um, just something that didn't I did not have when I was a kid growing up uh, and I think that it adds an extra element of fun it does make it a little bit harder to get those master sets uh, but you know at the end of the day as long as you're opening things you're having fun whatever you decide to collect let me know are you are you actually trying to collect a master set or are you just happy with whatever you get so here's another sword and shield battle styles code for you one, two, three, four. We've got to get one of these today. So we'll go with uh, electric again. And it is metal. Two metals in a row. Dotler. Yes, indeedy, it was two metals in a row. Crawdont. Galarian Slowpoke. That Crawdont art is actually pretty cool. Corfish. Sandalit. Or Salandit. Uh, I love the... Um, the claymation art, it just imagine the amount of time that that takes. Roly Coley looking pretty ominous in a cave. Esper, a reverse hollow pharaoh, and a Vivillon. So 
So far, battle styles, I'm guessing the first deck was the one that won on that one because if you're looking, we had a uncommon and a rare. So nothing major out of those two, but always fun to open something up and celebrate battle styles. I know that seems to be a little bit more of a player's uh, deck. Um, what are you hoping to pull from that one? I know everybody's trying to get that Tyranitar at the buffet. Um, but is there anything else you're looking for with those? Maybe those gold cards. Next up, we've got the Dragapult Shiny VMAX box. I've been waiting to open this up for a little bit. Uh, really excited for it, mainly for the actual Dragapult cards themselves, just because they look so sweet. And like, if I get more viewers, I will open up a Crobat box, but it is pretty late. It's like past midnight on a weekday on the East Coast. I don't think people are going to be opening up the YouTube to watch. So we'll have a regular airing of 5.30 for our weekly breaks as stock permits. Um, but this is just a well put together box compared to some of the other ones that you get. If you were to order a box from me as a box break, I will open up those packs. I will put everything back in and send it to you. That is a really cool looking giant card. I like it. What do you guys think about this? What is your favorite too between these... Uh, these two um, collection boxes. Are you more of a Dragapult fan or are you one of the Crobat fans? And those are really cool cards as well. I'm not going to take them out, just kind of keep them preserved in there, take them out later. So I'm pretty sure you've all either unboxed one of your own by now or seen it plenty online. We've got some amazing packs right here that we're hoping to get maybe some Charizard luck. So let's go ahead and break it up with a little bit of randomness here on what is what. We'll go ahead and have some interesting fold line on that uh, production card for the Toxtricity. Hopefully the cards are okay inside of there. So we'll go ahead and open up a whole entire run through. Oh, it looks like that's the way on most of these. wonder how that was packed. Maybe that was the, just a pressure line from the box. So we'll follow the same thing here where we put all of these are wonderful openings and we'll go from there. Uh, also, what are you looking forward to? I know that we've got some, um, we've got some chilling rain coming out. Uh, we've got uh, the 25th anniversary set. I'm actually looking forward to that one. I'm hoping a lot of good stuff comes in that one and that maybe it'll be like a collector's one that I can think of that is close to maybe that original uh, base set, Jungle and Fossil. Let's go with Electric. And it is Dark Energy, Rusted Sword, Ball Guy, Tropius, Nicket. More Pico, love the art on that one. I know there's two two variations of that. Rowlet, Spinner, Spinner is it Spinnerack? Yeah, Spinnerack. Horsey, a reverse holographic Thwacky. Look at that, and a Manaphy, which is really cool. I'd love to pull that card as an actual full uh, full art or another holographic form of it. But I do enjoy that card as as it stands alone. So let's go ahead and get all these together all over the place today. This is kind of like a last minute decision since uh, I had a little building inspection going on and it ended up messing up our original broadcasting time, which maybe we'd probably have more viewers. So um, I'll look forward to maybe next week breaking up that Crobat uh, box because I don't think we'll have enough viewers for today. And like I said, to head on over to the store first hundred people to order and get a free shipping on their order uh and let's go ahead and go with a fire it is metal po metal is popular today rusted shield rotom team yeltal yanma pretty cool one i like the uh the shiny in uh in pokemon go grookey nicket choodle uh more pico a reverse holographic coughing, so that's pretty oh cool, and a Cramorant V, so I'll take that. And like I said too, any of these V cards, if uh, 
if you were to be having one of these of your own, they would come sleeved as such and sent to you in a tender care. I'm gonna keep that off to the side right now. Um, and it looks like I'm blaring through some of my perfect fits. So I am almost out of my perfect fit stock. Also, is it hard for you right now as a collector to get uh, products to take care of your cards? I'm noticing that a lot of the graders have snapped up um, team bags and all sorts of things that make it make it a little bit more and make it easier to keep care of your cards. But it's inflating prices everywhere and not just the Pokemon packs themselves. Another code card for you there. Um, for those of you watching as well, when you're snagging these code cards, please throw something up in the comments to let me know that you're getting these code cards. That way, I'm not just giving them out on a video that nobody ever gets. And maybe we can get them to some kids who are playing the game. Let's go with a Leaf Energy. Ooh, Fighting. There you go. First Fighting of the Day. Ball Guy. Tropius. Floatzel. Cute. Cufant. Rowlet. Gossifleur. You gotta say it like it's like, uh, some sort of French thing. Um, coughing, more pico, because I'm thinking like the the flor de lire, Choodle, and a crowbat V, not a full art, but a beautiful card as well. It'd be kind of cool to throw that one up with the crowbat box. So I might see if I can get that in here real quick, just so you see I have a crowbat box just sitting here. Um, look at that. I think I think the art on this card is cooler than the art. That comes in this deck. I don't know if you would agree with that, right? I'm thinking that the art in this one is much cooler than what they actually released in the special box. So I know that's not their intended goal, but uh, hey, that is my unpopular opinion, possibly. Maybe it's yours. Let, let me know. What's your favorite Crobat card of the sex? Maybe. I think there's a full there might be a full art in this in this deck as well um but i'm not too terribly sure here we go with another uh code card for you hope you're all having a great day um that april's kind of turning around you're getting some of that sunshine let's go with the water energy it is metal again oh and there is something shiny in this you can see it just gleaming as i caught that side light tropius floatzel so if you weren't having a good day Hopefully this brings a little bit of joy your way because something good is going to be in this deck. Horsey. Horsey. That's beautiful art on Horsey. We got both more Picos in this deck. That's pretty cool. Oh, Toxtricity V. Shiny Vault. Look at that. And a Greedent V. I feel like this one is actually somewhat popular because I haven't opened that much um, Shining Fates, but I believe I pulled a to Toxtricity V out of out of something i think i had a, i've only opened like it was two etbs um and those two etbs i think i pulled this same exact combination so if you've pulled this combination let me know because i'm i'm starting to feel like this is the combination and we pulled that from the charizard pack right yeah all right so charizard pack leading it strong hopefully that last charizard pack is gonna give us something good what are you hoping to pull from the Shiny Fates, Shining Fates, uh, Shiny Vault? Uh, other than the Charizard, I'm pre I'm pretty sure that everybody's like Charizard, Charizard, Charizard. But uh, what about the Ditto? What about any of the other cards that you think are pretty cool? Um, let me know. Let's go with a Leaf Energy, Lightning Energy, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Thwacky, Trap Inch, Coughing. Shinx, Bazile, a Nicket. Oh, cool. Look at that. We got a, a Dracloak. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but the Shiny V, or Shiny uh, shiny Vault right there. Beautiful card. Um, also, too, if you were to get something pulled, uh, that is a pretty cool card. What I'll end up doing is giving it a good, a good representation. I know right now you're not seeing that because I'm going to do some editing to where we get that second video in because not all the time is this camera that great at focusing is what I'm noticing. But we got a beautiful, beautiful Draclock right there. 
Dracloak. Nice. I like it. Although I'm pretty sure that we should have been, I should have been more happy about the, the uh, Toxtricity, but I haven't pulled that particular Shiny Bolt yet. And this one here, we're going to, look at that. Dragapult, what are you, what have you got for me here? Because you're starting off with a card that I love. I love Eevee card. Let's see. Let's go with a... Got to get one. Definitely got to get one. So let's go with Metal. Oh, Lightning. I wanted to say it because we just got it. Dartrix. Ball Guy. Cramorant. Again, this this Eevee art I think is amazing. I want the Reverse Hollow in it. One of these packs will give it to me, hopefully. Grookey. Snom. Spinarak. More Pico. Ooh, a shiny vault double. Look at that. So two shiny vaults and three shiny vaults in a row. So some pretty decent cards. And a non-holographic rare Yan Mega, which is also pretty cool. Also, I'm noticing that these uh, shiny vault cards, I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but they definitely have like a, a better thickness and a better quality to them than some of the other ones on how they're constructed. It's a beautiful card right there, double and we are down to the last shining fates i'm going to finish up strong with two old packs with some ones that i have i think i've got probably four more left of burning shadows and celestial storm for some things that i'm just trying to pull out of that for my own personal collection just because there are some cards that i do enjoy and i would like to see pulled there's a last shining fates one for us today can this be i'm gonna say fire we're gonna say fire this is gonna be our charizard deck even though this has been a really good pack so far i'm gonna say it's gonna be even better we have a charizard sitting right here what do you think give us some luck give us some luck fire it is lightning so three lightnings in a row so maybe this deck is electric and it will have a beautiful charizard in it tropius spinarak bazil cute font Cacnea, Gossifleur, a Reverse Holographic Manaphy, and a Cinder Race VMAX to finish it off. Not the Charizard, but it's also Fire if you look at that. That's beautiful. This is a good pack right here. I know it didn't have the Shiny Vault um, card, but we got a Holographic Rare, and and, and it's Manaphy, which is pretty cool, and a Cinder Race V Max. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful card. Loving it. Loving it. What are you liking so far? Shout out in the comments what what uh what we've pulled today that is amazing um that you would love to have. We've got two more that we're down to. A recap kind of what's going on here for the Shining Fates. We've got some good stuff here out of that that last bit. We got that Cinderace, uh, VMAX, topping it off, Dub Wool, Dracloak, a Toxtricity V Shiny Vault. Full that's a full art right there too, right? Yeah, full art. Greedent, a beautiful crowbat. I think I've pulled this one before, honestly, but I still love that card. A Cramorant, and then our reverse holographics, which are pretty cool here. Um Mainly that Manaphy and the Thwacky, or the uh, the Manaphy is the best one out of that. And yeah, pulled Reverse Hollows out of our Shining Fates tin. And nothing really out of Battle Styles that was majorly huge is maybe our Galarian Mr. Rhyme for those of you trying to get a Reverse Hollow and get that Master set. While we're coming back down towards the ending uh, end of the stream, thanks so much for watching. We got two more left. We're gonna start finish off with the Burning Shadows, but we're gonna open the Celestial Storm, hoping to get the Rayquaza, Rayquaza, however you say it. As long as you enjoy the game, that's what matters. Look at that. Could that be a premonition? Pulling the Rayquaza pack art right here, taking extra care. It's gonna be. It's gonna be it. You can feel it, right? And we gotta get that guess the energy. We gotta get that guess the energy. There you are for the Celestial Storm code card. We are gonna say Leaf Energy. It is a psychic. Definitely not doing great on that. Leonhart would not be proud. Combuskin. Tatenly's a Cacturn. Mudkip. A Baltoy. Bagon. 
a Torchic, a Love Disc, a Rainbow Energy Reverse Holographic, and a Regirock Regular Rare. And because we're running kind of low on time, trying to keep these visits of uh, these um, these streams under 25 minutes, we are going to finish off right here with the last deck, the Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows. I would love to pull the ho -Oh. Could that be a premonition as well? And we're going to say that it, this deck is going to be electric again. And I'm going to guess electric energy because it's been so good to us. But if we get that or the Charizard, it definitely would be a great ending to today's stream. We're going to go with that lightning. Lightning, lightning. It is darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Gloom. Seviper. Lana. Pan Sage, Esper, Pikachu. All right, all right, I'll take it. I like Pikachu. Any Pikachu is fun. A Noibat, a Dupiter, a Reverse Holographic Wimpod. Pretty cool looking art. I like that one right there. <laughs> no way. Okay, so it is not a the big Charizard that everybody's looking for, but it is a Charizard. Uh, I have only ever pulled Charizard twice, ever, ever, ever. Um, and so to me that is a fantastic ending how in the world did that just happen i know it's not the the big one that everybody's looking for but i'm happy especially from these pools today lots of great stuff that cinderace v max probably one of the better cards toxicity v whatever you're thinking shout it out let us know thanks so much for joining us hope to see you next week again hit up that shop first hundred orders free shipping uh, uh, to the end of the month and every Wednesday at 530 from now on out. Hopefully there's no more building ins inspections or anything crazy like that, but I'll be sure to shout out if maybe we have to push it back. And if that's the case, would you like it to be pushed to like a Tuesday or sorry, a Thursday or a Friday? If anything like that comes up, be sure to, to leave some comments on the Instagram uh, on this channel, like subscribe. Thank you so much for topping by. Hopefully life is treating you well and that maybe opening some Pokemon today brought you a little bit of joy. And until next time, keep on catching them all. Have a great day.